Greetings, boys and girls. It is now time for phonics. In phonics today, we're learning and practicing with word endings. ER at the end of a word says er, just like er, er word. LY at the end of a word with another vowel in it says leave. Just like two syllable Y says E, it makes a long E sound. A word with two syllables and a Y or an LY at the end says E or E. Here's another word, baby. There's another vowel in this word. So the Y at the end of the word makes the long E sound. E. Swiftly, baby. We'll be working with ing. Ng. Painting. Here are some more endings that we'll be working with today. EST says S. ED at the end of a word either says D or ED. ED at the end of a word with a T in front of it or a D in front of it, you hear the short E sound and then the D. Paint TED. Trade dead. But an ED after any other letter, you do not hear the E sound. You just hear the D. As in baked. Here, the E jumps, hits the vowel before it, and makes it say its name, but you don't hear the E. The last sound that we'll work on at the end of a word is consonant L. L-E says oh, so T-L-E says tool, G-L-E would say go, P-L-E would say pull. Great job, boys and girls. Now, let's practice reading some words and sounds. Which A, boys and girls? A blanket says A. Sound, B. Sound, K. Word, bake. I will bake a cake. If I add a D to the end of the word, what does it say now? Baked. Very good. I baked a cake yesterday. Sound. Er. Which er, boys and girls? E-R says er. Very good. If I add B-A-K -A in front of it, what does the word say? Baker. Very good. Because the vowel signal E Hits the vowel before it and makes it say its name. Sound. A. Which A, boys and girls? A I says A. Because when two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking. Sound. P. Sound. Mmm. Sound. Sound, er. Boys and girls, what does the word say? Painter. The painter will paint the house green. Very good, boys and girls. Sound, a. Which a? A, I 
says A. Because when two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking. Sound. Sound. Mm. Sound. T. What do we have so far, boys and girls? That's right. Paint. Sound. Ing. Word. Painting. The painting was very beautiful. Sound. Er. Which er, boys and girls? I art says er. Sound. D. Sound. T. What word do we have so far, boys and girls? That's right. Dirt. Sound. E. Word. Dirty. Remember, when there's another vowel in the word, the Y at the end of a word sounds like E. The room was very dirty. Sound. Er. Which er, boys and girls? I art says er. Sound. D. Sound. T. Sound. E. Word. Dirty. Now let's say I want to change this word to say dirtier. Her room was dirtier than his room. What should I do with the Y? That's right. Drop the Y, change it to I, and then add E-R. Can you read our new word? Yes. Dirtier. The I makes the long E sound. And E-R says er. Sound. O. Which O, boys and girls? O W says O. Sound. Soul. Word. Slow. Sound. Er. Word. Slower. The turtle was slower than the rabbit. Sound. O. Which O, boys and girls? O W says O. Sound. Soul. Sound. Est. Word. Slowest. The snail was the slowest of all. Sound. O. Which O, boys and girls? O W says O. Sound. Soul. And we're going to add an L Y to the end of that. Do you see another vowel in this word? So what does L-I sound like? Lee. Read the word. Slow Lee. Great job. The rabbit ran slowly. He saw that the turtle won the race. Sound. I. Which I, boys and girls? Single I says I. Sound. Sw. Sound. Sound. T. Word. Swift. The rabbit was very swift. That means fast, boys and girls. Sound. Lee. That's right, because there is another vowel in this word, the I. So the L-Y says Lee. Word, swiftly. 
The rabbit ran swiftly at the beginning of the race. Sound. A. Which A, boys and girls? A Blinky says A. Sound. S. Sound. <laughs> Word. Safe. Let's add an ending. Sound. Leave. Read the word. Safely. She safely crossed the threshold. Great job, boys and girls. Can you remember what L-E says? That's right. Oh. Now if I put a T with that, what does it say now? Tool. Excellent job. I'm going to add another T. What does that say? Yes, it still says tool. Single I? I. L at the beginning? Ooh. Read the word. Little. The bird was very little. Excellent job. Sound. Ooh. Sound. G. What does it say together? Goal. Very good. E A. E. Because. When two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking. Word, eagle. Great job. Now if I add a B at the beginning of eagle, what does the word say now? That's right, beagle. Now let's sing our sounds. A blank E says A and the word is baked. E-R says er and the word is baker. E-R says er and the word is painter. I-N-G says E and the word is painting. Y at the end says E and the word is dirty. E-R says er and the word is dirtier. E-R says er and the word is slower. E-S-T says S and the word is slower. L-Y says Lee and the word is slowly. L-Y says Lee and the word is swiftly. L-Y says Lee and the word is safely. T-L-E says tall, the word is little. G-L-E says gull and the word is eagle. Sound, A, word, fake. Sound, er, word, baker. Sound, er, word, Painter, sound, ing, word, painting, sound, e, word, dirty, sound, er, word, dirtier, sound, er, word, slower, sound, est, word, slowest, sound, lee, word, slowly, sound, lee, word, Swiftly, sound, lee, word, safely, sound, tall, word, little, sound, goal, word, beagle. Great job, boys and girls. Now it's time for you to get your own paper and pencil. Spell the words that I say, and then we'll see if your spelling was correct. The first word is bake. I will bake a cake. Say it, bake. Tap it, b, ache. Bake. Now write it. And you should have b, a, k, e. Now, can you change the word bake to say baked? I baked a cake. 
yesterday. That's right, just add an E. Can you change the word baked to say baker? The baker had a wonderful cake business. Baker. Yes, take off the D and change it to R. And now it says baker. Great job. The next word is paint. I will paint a picture. Say it. Paint. Tap it. P paint. Paint. Now write it. And you should have P A I N T. Paint. Great job, boys and girls. Now, can you change the word paint to say painter? Yes, just add ER. Painter. Can you change the word painter to say painting? Very good. Take off the ER and add ING. And now we have painting. The next word is dirt. I saw dirt on my shoe. Say it. Dirt. Tap it. D dirt. Dirt. Now write it. And you should have D I R T. Dirt. Now, can you change the word dirt to say? Dirty. That's right. Don't add an E, add a Y because E's at the end are usually silent. Now, can you change the word dirty into dirtier? That's right. You just can't add ER. You have to change the Y to an I, then add ER. Dirtier. Wonderful job, boys and girls. The next word is slow. The turtle was slow. Say it. Slow. Tap it. Slow. 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 Now write it. And you should have S L O W. Slow. Great job, boys and girls. Can you change the word slow into the word slower? Slower? Yes, just add ER. Now, can you change the word slower to say slowest? The, the turtle was the slowest animal in the race. Yes. Change ER into EST. Slowest. Can you change slowest into the word slowly? Great job. Take off EST and add LY. The next word is swiftly. The bird flew swiftly. Say it swiftly. Tap it sw if t lead. Swiftly. Swiftly. Now spell it. And you should have S W sw I F if t t. Lee, L Y, swiftly. Do you have that, boys and girls? Give yourself a pat on the back if you do. The next word is safely. Please clean up your toys safely. Say it safely. Tap it. A Lee. Safely. Now write it. 
and you should have S A F E safe Lee L Y Great job boys and girls Three more words to go The next word is little Say it Little Tap it Pull it Pull Little the squirrel was little. And you should have L I T T L E. Lit toll. The next word is eagle. The eagle flew in the sky. Eagle. Say it. Now tap it. And write it. And you should have E A G L E. Eagle. Can you change the word eagle to say beagle? The beagle is a dog. Yes. Put a B at the beginning of eagle and you will have beagle. Now it's time to practice reading, boys and girls, using some of the endings that we've practiced with today. We're going to read a short story called The Eagle and the Baker. After we read, can you think about the moral of the story? First, I want you to listen to me read the story, or you can read along with me. Then, I want you to read the story on your own. The Eagle and the Baker A miller laid a snare. That's a trap, boys and girls. A baby eagle flew into it. The miller clipped its wings and tied him to a pole. The little eagle wished to be free. A kind baker came by. That's someone who bakes cakes. And a miller is someone who mills seeds into flour. He paid the miller and gave the eagle he stroked him. He didn't tie him. Boys and girls, stroke means he petted him. In time, the eagle's wings grew. He flew safely away. Later, he returned. He gave the baker a fine Now read the story again with me and try to keep up with me this time. Let's start from the title. The Eagle and the Baker. A miller laid a snare. A baby eagle flew into it. The miller clipped his wings and tied him to a pole. The little eagle wished to be free. A kind baker came by. He paid the miller and gave the eagle a home. He stroked him. He didn't tie him. In time, the eagle's wings grew. He flew safely away. Later, he returned. He gave the baker a fine hair. Great job, boys and girls. Now it's time for you to read The Eagle and the Baker on your own. You may begin now.
Great job, boys and girls. Can you think of the moral of this story? The moral of a story is something that you learn from the story that can make your life better. Yes, there are many morals to this story. One could be treat others the way you want to be treated. Another could be if you're kind to someone, they might be kind to you as well. Great job on phonics today, boys and girls. See you next time.